All right, my air signs. So I'm gonna be doing a reading for all my air signs. Um, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra in one. It's gonna be focused on love. Um, some other information may pop in. Um, and it is timeless. Um, I've decided not to do the, the bi-weekly because I just don't like the idea of putting a time restraint on it. I just want it to be fluid energy. So if you see a title and it re resonates with you, then you should listen to that video even if it's from two years ago. Because in this moment in time, that's the energy that is meant for you that, that you're in. The universe doesn't see time and I don't want to put my readings in that way. So I'm not doing it. So if it resonates, like the video, subscribe to the channel. And um, if you want a reading that's twenty dollars, you can either DM me on Instagram at bevybud or you can um, send me an email. All right, Spirit, thank you for your guidance. Thank you for being here to provide a clear message for our air signs. Oh, well, that came out quick. The dog. Be disciplined in your home and community. What other sign? This is all about the heart chakra. It's a lot about the heart chakra this month. I've realized for all of the signs. There's another sign that also had the same card. I believe it was the air signs. The air signs. You guys are the air signs. Duh. The earth signs. Um, and I don't know why Virgo just kept popping in my head. Virgo. You could be dealing with the Virgo. When you receive this card, you're invited to look at the structure of your, your family life and your friendships, including those with work colleagues. Are you loyal to each other? Do you respect each other? Do you all relate to, e to each other for the highest good? Are you disciplined or chaotic in your lifestyle? When family reflects you, so so are you loyal to yourself? Oh, shit. <laughs> your family reflects you, so are you loyal to yourself? Do you respect yourself? Do you make choices for your highest good? You are reminded that spiritual dis discipline is the foundation for true happiness and joy. It is the key of ascension. The dog card wants you to know that when you consistently practice your spiritual techniques, you can be adaptable, courageous, and develop a sense of adventure and fun. Your entire life can expand based on this solid foundation as self-control confers safety. You can then walk forward in joy and bliss. Okay. I do feel like this has more to do with your spiritual journey. I am going to focus more on love. It could be self-love though, especially with it being your heart chakra. Um, I do feel like there is a need for you to be more open to other people, air signs, because I know you guys can often overthink and aren't really too tapped into your hearts. It's not that you're you're not loving people or all of that, but you're very logical. You don't really think with your hearts as much as you should. So um, I shouldn't say that because everybody's different. Some people don't want to think with their hearts, but... I feel like in this case you need to because it's going to help you advance spiritually and being able to work with others and allow other people in and be vulnerable is going to be a part of the process for you. Um, so let's just jump into what's the present energy for my air signs. Present energy for my air signs. Let's see. Yeah, there's a new direction for you guys. You guys took a... Oh, ouch. I feel like you guys took a step back in your restructuring. Um, restructuring your lifestyle. You could have left something in the past, a way of thinking. Um, you could actually be physically locating to another area. Like moving somewhere else. Not like down the street, like far away. Relocating on the other side of the rainbow. Um, but it's definitely taking a look at, at your life. Taking a look at where you're currently at and restructuring it because you're not really fully liking how it's going right now. What else for the present energy? For air signs. Present energy for air signs. The magician. So with this move, this change, this restructuring, you have the ability to manifest whatever it is that you want into your life, um, especially with the sun card in the background and you have all these elements here. So it's almost like you're keeping yourself trapped mentally when you have so much possibility in front of you, like the overthinking, everything is blocking you from actually just going, putting it into motion and hoping for the best. And if it doesn't work out, well, picking another idea, right? 
it's like you just hold back from everything and then you miss out on all these opportunities because you're overthinking it. But you have this this positive new direction to go in and you're the magician. You have the ability to manifest whatever you want, especially when it comes to love. If you're single, you have the ability to create whatever you want, but you need to restructure your thoughts and the way you look at love. Um, especially if you're relocating there. Or yes, there is a chance for new love elsewhere. And I think that could be what's keeping you stagnant from jumping into love right now is if you have that choice of wanting to relocate, you're waiting until you relocate because you don't want to start something and have a long distance situation going. But you're really like with this relocation, you're really taking a leap like of faith going out on your like for yourself. And really taking a chance on yourself. There was some kind of heartbreak in the past. Um, that caused you to have this very possessive um, mentality, right? Like that you feel like it's yours or you need to guard what you have or um, worry about what they're doing. Like it, it put you in a negative state of mind. And I think that's what's keeping you stagnant from going out on a limb for yourself. But once you restructure your thoughts and, and make this move, make this relocation away from something and just start new, um, it's going to help you transition out of this it's going to help you let let go of this past hurt and let go of this being stagnant and take this leap of faith forward and manifest what you want into your life what was the past energy the air signs oh oh past energy yeah you guys were definitely in your head you came to the end of a cycle of something a lot of um yep completion Completion. This was the end of a cycle. Something that caused you a lot of insomnia. You couldn't sleep. A lot of anxiety. Sleepless nights. A lot of pain and hurt. And it put you in this mother of swords energy, which is air energy, um, of being very standoffish, very guarded, very straight to the point, not letting anybody walk all over you, but to the point where it makes you seem very cold and distant, like you don't have a heart, right? Like you can see it in that bird's eyes. You want a new start in love. With letting this go, that's why you're going through this, trying to come to the completion and trying to understand this past hurt so you can move forward and love again. Letting go of all of that so you can move forward on this new path and love because that's really what you want. And with this Mother of Swords, that's also letting go of that past hurt. You want to take this new start. Tell me about the, the Daughter of Cups. Daughter of Cups. Yeah. You've planted some seeds and you have some kind of wish fulfillment in front of you. Like this, having this love and planting these seeds with somebody and growing something stable with somebody, somebody, somebody that's at your level, that's just as motivated and outgoing and wants to do, be successful and do great things. Like that's your wish fulfillment is this new start in love, planting these seeds for the new start in love. So you're moving in the right direction because you're really working on that healing. Um that healing aspect, but you have this idea for a new start in love. Look, <laughs> as I'm saying it, the idea for the new start in love and you want to put it into motion. I don't think the time is ready yet. Keep planting your seeds. Keep healing, making sure you're completely over this. You've relocated, restructured yourself so that you can allow this love in, allow this wish fulfillment in. You can't be guarded. you got to open your heart just like it's right here. You have your two loyal dogs here, but their hearts are open. They're vulnerable. Dogs are the most loyal animals. I can't say the most loyal, but the most loyal that I know. Like they are very, doesn't matter what you do to them. They'll still love you at the end of the day. You could be the worst owner in the world and a dog will still try to be loyal to you because they love you. You could beat them to death and they'll still try to be there as scared as they are. Like to me, like people don't deserve dogs. Not saying don't ever do that shit because shit, I'll kill you. But this is a very loyal, like, energy. This is very much in your heart, that vulnerable, loving, like, unconditional love. That's what it is. That's what you need to access right now um, within yourself so that you can draw that into your life. You're the magician. Let go of the material idea of things. Let go of those bad habits, whether it's drinking or going out partying or going to the strip clubs, whatever it is, like, those toxic low level energies that aren't doing anything for for you right like they're in the moment you might charge in and feel good in the moment but afterwards you're still sitting at home lonely and it's not going to be 
good for this loyal, compassionate energy. You're not going to find somebody that's going to build with you and be okay with you going out partying every weekend or going to the strip club. Sorry, but there's a new direction for you once you let go of this. Could be a drinking habit. It could be drugs. Um, it could just be a materialistic side of things or feeling like the fear of being in a relationship, right? Because of this past stuff. Letting go of that, coming charging forward, defeating the, de the, the devil within you so you can take this new direction. Keep working on that. I don't see you as being somebody that has... I don't see any people here, so I don't see... I do, I mean, I do see people here, but I don't see any love connections. I just see a lot about a wanting a new start in love. So it could be... This could be with somebody from the past. I'm feeling like it's more new energy. If it's somebody from the past, it's trying to heal from this so that you can treat them the right way. Or vice versa, if you're the other person. What is the... Uh, let's switch the deck. What is the advice for my viewers? Advice for the viewers? I thought I saw a card flip in here. I did. I'm not going to take that. I definitely think there was some kind of energy with you feeling like you were left out in the cold. But there's going to be this new start in love. This new need for a celebration. This new coming together. Um, you've been alone. You've definitely been alone. Kind of planting your own seeds. Trying to grow your own wealth. Feeling very single and... Like being okay on your own, very right? successful on your own. And I think that's part of the fear of getting into a relationship because if you get into it with somebody toxic, well, they can bring you down instead of bringing you up. And I think you're letting the fear control this right now within you. But there's definitely like if, if you move forward with this or are vulnerable and attract the right person towards you, there's going to be a beautiful new start in love that's going to that's gonna grow. How does my, hmm, you don't want me to ask that question. <laughs> There's definitely a need to let the past go. This past hurt go so that you can move into your empress state of mind. You could be dealing actually with, with either an earth sign or I just saw the cancer card come out, cancer Gemini. Uh, Or they could be the person you're thinking about this new start in love with. What is the outcome of this situation? With love. Yeah, you're going to find balance. You're going to learn to balance the career side of things and your love side of things. So that you can come together and work with other people. Two to three. You're going to find the balance where you can find your heart, connect to your heart, but still think logically. You're going to have that balance between logic and your heart and moving forward with passion. And then you're going to come together. There's two threes here. So you're going to come together and start working with others so that you can celebrate with others. You're going to be very critical of your ideas. You're going to be very logical about it because you want it to be perfect, like perfectionist type of energy especially the way they're really staring at this painting like no it's got to be perfect what's wrong with it we got to do this like you're going to come together and work with others and build this build this love come together and really build your finances but it takes you needing to find that balance between opening your heart and not just being completely closed off page of cups just came out again there's definitely at the bottom of the deck you you're really wanting a new start in love you definitely do Hmm. I see you really working hard on, hard on this healing, though, so that you can build this with somebody. Just make sure you're being very, like, you're, you're communicating this. If there's somebody here right now 
that you're kind of being standoffish to, just let them know that you're really working on healing so that you can open up again and just to work with them. But that doesn't mean tell somebody that and then me going out fucking with like five people and being like, oh, you won't wait for me. Oh, well, I'm, I have to handle this right now. This is a part of my process. No, no, no. That's not how it works. But being open and letting people know like what you're going through and what you're trying to heal from. You have to be open to communication. You can't close yourself off from it. If you want love in your life, well, you got to find your heart and be vulnerable. Everybody in life and love has been vulnerable. There's nothing wrong with being vulnerable. Especially for a man. I think it's so attractive when a man can show their emotions and aren't afraid to. I don't even know what else to This seems like a pretty short reading, but it seems pretty straightforward. You're really just working on yourself right now. Yes, you want this new start in love. You're hopeful for it. But I think there's more healing for you to do right now and balancing. Balancing yourselves out. Is there anything else? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, Ten of Swords just... That's why I couldn't flip it. Okay. Coming out of this, right? You're still working on that. You're almost there. You're coming out of all this betrayal, backstabbing, resentment. Whatever pain it is that you're harboring inside of yourself. With the devil in your reverse, you're getting rid of that. Your devil is here anyway. This, these two cards came out again right you're you're moving away from that you're moving away from the toxic behaviors you're moving away from the toxic lifestyle you're ready to settle down and build with somebody and that's what you're going to do once you let go of this energy let go of this addiction let go of this negative habit and let go of this pain and this hurt you're going to come charging forward with the new 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 love that you want to give because you're so caught up in this old love and there's somebody here trying to offer you a cup right in front of your face and you're going to see it once you take that blind off and stop being stupid stop being stagnant stop not not being stupid i shouldn't say that because i know you guys are working on a lot of things for yourself but um to heal yourself and to to be more grounded but the only thing you're holding yourself back right now because you're keeping yourself blinded from this because of, of past hurt okay so really just work on keep working on that healing process um, but make sure you're communicating with, with, if there's somebody in your life, you're communicating with them so they know what's going on and they don't feel like it's something wrong with them or anything like that, okay? Don't don't lead people on and drag them along. Let them know what's going on, especially if you really care about them and want this new start in love. Yep, the fool is out again. It's time to leap. Take a leap. Take a leap of faith. Stop overthinking the outcome so much because you know you air signs love to do that shit. And just say fuck it and do it, okay? Go for it. If it doesn't work out, well, the worst is you're back at square one and you're starting over again. But if you don't do anything at all, well, then you're still at square one. You didn't even try to leap forward into anything. You're just stuck there, sitting, sitting duck. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks for stopping by. Namaste.